Hello, welcome to another video. This time I'm down at Effenham Carp Fishery. It's a fairly new lake um, down in Surrey. Well, I'll put a website down in the description below. I've just come down here just on the off chance. I'm in Pig. I'm in Pig 7. You have to go on the Catch app, uh, which everyone probably knows by now. What I'll do, I'll, I'll put a link to that as well in the description. They do do a, a minimum of 23 hours, but what I've done, I've just booked a, like a 24 hour or 23 hour session. Just come down midweek. The hours that I'm fishing today um, is 10 till 6. That's when the gates close. From what the bailiff said, it's the it's the more shallow end of the lake. But what's already happened, uh, before I could even kind of get the camera set up, um, I've had a fish that I'll put on the screen now. Absolutely stunning fish, isn't it? And that was on my left-hand rod. Um, it was just a, it was just a uh, PVA mesh bag full of like small pellets, and it was a pink little wafter. Not a bad start to the day. This is what my swim looks like. It's oh yes, yeah, a free rod um, set up, which is pretty awesome. I've got my left-hand rod about rod length out, and then just kind of directly under this tree here. My middle rod is at that far margin. And then my right hand rod, did I say my middle hand? My middle rod? Anyway, my right hand rod is just down here. I saw a couple of fish showing um, when I first turned up. Put a couple of handfuls of bait out. It's probably about half the rod length out from here. And there is a stalking swim, which is just the other side of these trees. Uh, I took a look down there this morning, wasn't really much showing. I saw a couple of fish showing on the left hand side of my of my swim so I thought yeah do you know what? I'll, I'll stand the swim for now if I start seeing fish down in the shallows yeah I'll, uh, I'll go and take a trip down there but for now yeah this is uh, this is my swim had a fish already happy days still a couple of fish showing um, it's, it's completely out of my water but yeah on that far on that far bank very very peaceful here and as I said yeah it was just an on the off chance um, yeah, I've, I've, I've got a day off um, I had, yeah I've had a couple of things to do early early this morning um, so I thought yeah do you know what I'll get the rods out and uh, yeah I'll try somewhere different so there's been no real updates um, since since the last boat down this end of the lake, like the shallow end, there's been one fish that's, that's jumped out. No other signs of fish. Over that far bank, there's been... Oh, I say that, there you go. No signs of fish, and then one just shows. Um, but what I've actually done, my right hand rod is actually where that fish has just jumped there. My middle rod, I've put out um, to, that far, to that far margin. Um, there's been about four or five fish out, like showing. So yeah, I've put three spawns of pellet, like just plain pellet, over that rod, over the middle rod, and I've just kept the left hand rod where I had that fish earlier, just underneath this tree here. Nothing else has happened. Fingers crossed that um, that showing fish is on my bait. I put one spot of pellet out over there as well. So fingers crossed. But yeah, nothing else happened. The um, the fishery actually supplies landing net, unhooking mat, and a, and a waistling as well, which is pretty cool. Bailiff this morning, Adam, absolutely fantastic guy. Um, he helped me round to this swim, gave me a bit of advice on kind of where to fish, um, you know where the where the features are, <coughs> and uh, well yeah, it's paid off. So yeah, I really appreciate it, mate. Thank you. Yeah, let's hope some, hope for some more some more fish out today. So I've brought my rods in um, I thought I'd go for a little walk round to the, the stalking swim. I think they call it a stalking area for um, for swim seven. And yeah, it basically is from about here. You can kind of get to the get to the bank. Will be a little bit quiet because uh, I think I might want to be fishing down there later. But yeah, this is the, uh, this is the stalking area. From what I can tell, it it does get very very shallow here. You can fish all all the way up here on this bank. 
and you can go all the way around on this side. That's the view we've got here. Yeah, walk around, I'll walk around a little bit further. Yeah, so you can fish all the way, all the way down on this bank. But if you like, uh, if you like natural looking lakes, it's definitely a lake for you. Walk through here. You can see where some people actually have, have, uh, have come through here. It could just be animal tracks, to be honest, but yeah. Yeah, it does look very, very shallow. Oh, I've just spoke to fish. Whoops. Take a little look for a little, uh, little walk further up here. See what I can see. Very nice. Mm. Yeah, I'll take a walk back now. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the stalking part of uh, Swim Seven. six acres um, and the seven swims so you pretty much get an acre of water each to fish be great for a, for a social down here um, the swims aren't too far apart I'll head back to the rods get some more bait out and uh, yeah hopefully catch another fish all right well I'll put my middle rod out over to that far bank and I'll just add this mirror. Oh, I'll uh, I'll put a photo of it up on the screen in a second, and uh, I'll show you what the weight is as well. I'm just going to weigh them now. All right, here goes one one-handed. You see that there? And then I'm just going to take the weight of the sling off and then uh, yeah I'll, I'll know the final weight happy days so I'm just going to get the sling undone there we go look at that beaut absolutely stunning lovely now a bit of a bit of a red mouth but uh, yeah not from I think it is just a marking to be honest all right sorry about that some random dog just uh, jumped in the lake so, here he is in all his glory as I said before he's beautiful I'll let him go out of this end And as I say, the fishery provide the, uh, the slings and the nets and the uh, mats as well, which is fantastic. So you don't really have to think too much about it. There we go, look at him. He's stunning. Make sure he's all right. Swimming away healthy. There we go, second fish of the day. And so yeah, I'm gonna weigh the sling, see how much that is, and then, uh, yeah, go from there. Awesome. So I weighed the sling and the fish weighed 22.6, which I'm absolutely buzzing about. Fingers crossed for another one. Alright, finally got a, a take on camera. So we're in, third time. Let's see what, let's see what this one's like. That was my middle rod. All the way out. That's, that clutch is quite tight as well. Um, but yeah, there is quite a bit of weed out as well, which is not going to make things easy. But we'll give it a go. Oh, 
bleed out, I can feel it on the uh, on the line. I'm not going to pressure it too much. sound on the uh, on the line yeah. slowly but surely it will come in oh, I can see the fish on the surface Ooh. I've got I've got actually got a line just down here. So I might try and land it over here. Probably makes a bit more sense. Right, I'll be back with you guys shortly, hold on. Alright, what I'm having to do is yeah. I've kind of come down to this side of the of the swim. No. So I just come out of, out of some weed. Ooh, that scared me. <laughs> Still feeling that weed. Not a nice sound, is it? It's definitely not a nice sound. Fair old splash. Don't think it's as big as my last one. Take me around the houses with this. I have to land him between both of my other rods. It's gonna be fun. There he is. He's beautiful as usual. Nice hat trick. Right, let's have a look. Oh, another beautiful, one. beautiful one. Nice. Right. Oh, and I'm hooking, weighing, and uh, yeah. I'll let you know how I get on. So after taking off the uh, the weight of the sling, that's 23.4. That's two twenties in one session. How about that? That's going to be my uh, my final fish of the day. It's close to to backing up time anyway. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Three fish in one day. Uh, yeah, you can't get any better than that. Two twenties as well. Happy days. So yeah. Um, 
yeah, absolutely buzzing about that. Uh, I'm going to pack up now. Uh, it's just just before five o'clock. Um, I was going to wait around till six, but uh, yeah, I, 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 I want to end on that note. So yeah, um, I'll leave the video here. Thanks again for watching. If you could give the video a thumbs up, I really appreciate that. Hit subscribe as well, that'd be awesome. And as I said at the beginning of the video, I'll, uh, I'll put all the links in the description below and I'll put the uh, website for Catch App as well. So yeah, again, thanks for watching and I'll see you again very soon.